Fortunate questions. <laughs> okay, it's coming. It's coming. What is there going we go. I was telling you, I was Woo. not, uh, my fingers aren't warmed up yet. Yeah, no, it's just, it's winter time, you know? It's cold out and the hands don't work as fast. What do we got? What do we got? All right. Hey, look at this. Charles from Portland, New York. All right. All right. Portland, New York's. We've been getting a lot of East Coast people. You know, it's that time. You know, it's winter time. Mm -hmm. Again, to get to the question, I know. It says, what is your favorite smartphone photo app? Photo. I think he means application. Yeah. <laughs> um, app is short for application. My favorite. I can't even remember what it's called. I like it so much. No, it's... Uh, I be, so, if you are a landscape app, even if you're not a portrait, environmental portrait guy... Um, you're always wondering where the sun is going yeah. to be at a certain time. They've got this thing called Sun Route. There's another one, Golden Hour. Oh, I sun use the cool. Sun Route one all the time because I can actually use my, my phone camera and I can see exactly where the sun is going to be. Yeah. Because you, can say, you can say you can stand in a place. We've done this before. And you've said, okay, we're going to shoot tomorrow at 9 o'clock here. And you program that in. And you moved around. You're like, okay, the sun's going to be right there. Because yep. the, it appears on the – it's in your camera. So I mean, cool. that, that's probably my favorite. I use that all the time. Yeah. Sun route. Sun route. Yeah. Do you have anything? You know what? I double click on my Samsung phone and my camera comes up and I yeah, double click. <laughs> and that's my favorite app. It's just the standard app. No, I, I really... I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Anybody that knows I me knows I just don't use my phone very often. You don't. You're, you're starting to use it more, but not uh, night. Not as much as yeah, you should. I, I just always have a camera with me, it seems like. That's the big one. I had downloaded something the other day that I thought was kind of cool. Oh, it was the, the light meter. And yeah. it, it, I don't know if it worked really well, but and I'm not a big light meter guy. But it It's interesting to have a, a light meter. Um, one I used to carry a lot with me. And I'm starting to look it up ahead of time now these days. But um, depth of field calculators. Mm. It seems like, you know, for a while I was like, oh, this is kind of stupid. But now that we're having to shoot with, you know, 1.4 lenses, 1.2 lenses, it's, it's important sometimes to know that, okay, at eight foot, I'm going to get that much depth of field, but at 15 feet, I'm going to get, you know, two inches. Yep. That's a huge difference when we're shooting portraits. And, you know, it, it's allowed me to, you know, think through my process. You don't remember the name of any of those. Um, just look up. It. There's just a depth of feeling. Just I think it's called DOF calculator. Doof. Doof. The DOF calculator. And then sun route. Those those are the ones that I would recommend. Uh, just you can just go into the Google Play Store or the the uh, iTunes yeah. App Store. So here's what's exciting. You're in snowy Cortland, New York. We're going to be sending you because you're shut in, probably trapped in a giant <laughs> snowstorm. The coveted chopstick guy kit. That's right. Which includes two sets. Of chopsticks. That's right. And that's it. Two. Oh, there's more. Fortunate Fortune Ooh, cookies. Nice. And two wasabi bowls and two wasabi. That's no, a, that's, two chopsticks. That's rest. a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. So we'll be sending that out to you. Uh, thanks so much for sending your question. If you guys have a question, just go ahead and enter the comments below and we will look through them. If we pick your question, we'll be sending you a chopstick guys kit. But until then, please don't forget. Say, say sushi. sushi.